Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of a chapter in Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. We're actually going to begin with the appendix, the command line crash course, but you start by going to his online book, which is, you can read it for free at Learn Python the Hard Way, or you can, um, you can purchase it and download it to read on a Kindle or an iPad or a PDF and get access to his videos as well. I recommend it. I purchased it. But um, we go to learnpythonthehardway.org, and if you click on this little uh, branching, that takes you to the uh, index. I just got it open in the second tab here. And we're going to the table of contents. We're going down to the bottom to the command line crash course. And if you click on that, it takes you right here. And in this one, we're going to exercise four, which is make a directory. Now, a directory is another term for a folder. Um, that's, you know, the folder on your computer where you keep files. And so what we're going to use is the terminal, which I have open in the top right. We're going to use that in order to make some directories. Um, it's pretty easy. Now, one thing that um, Zed asks us to do is to always make sure that we know what directory we're in by doing PWD, that's print working directory. And I see that I'm in my home folder. So that's on my Mac, that's user slash Bart. That's my home folder. And he also says, and just to be sure, do the CD tilde, and I actually don't need the tilde on my Mac. It goes to the home uh, directory anyhow, but, but that's where I am. And by the way, if you ever want to get rid of stuff, you want to clear it out, on the app, um, on a Mac, you just do Command K. That clears it out, and that's going to be clear all, and I assume there's a similar command for PowerShell on Windows. Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type MKDIR. That is short for make directory or create a folder, make a folder. And what you do is you type that command and then you give the folder a name next to it. And I'm going to call it temp. Now, I want you to see down here beneath it is the, um, there's a folder on my computer. This is my home folder right here. That's Bart. And you see that I do not have a folder in here named temp. But when I, and by the way, you don't have to call it temp, you can call it anything you want. Um, and I'm going to hit return. And now you come down here and you see that it just created this folder called temp. So we're good. Now, if I want to make a subfolder, I can go like this. I can type, uh, MKDIR make der for make directory. And I can do temp slash stuff. Now this is a regular, uh, slash it used to be on windows computers. You had to use the, um, the forward slash, but, uh, that's no longer the case. You can use the backslash on anything. So that's what we're using right here. So I'm telling it to, this is a way of specifying a subdirectory. So you see right now, if I come down here, the temp directory is empty. But I come up here and I hit return. And you see that it just created this folder called stuff inside it. Cool. Um, by the way, these directories, uh, the names are only one word. If I wanted to make a title with more than one word, like this is my stuff, you can do that. You just have to put it in quotation marks. Um, let me go to the next step on Z. I'm going to do, excuse me, I'm going to do MKDIR temp stuff things. That's going to create a folder inside it. You see the things just popped up. By the way, a quick little tip is if you want to go back to a previous command and maybe modify it, all you got to do is I'm, I'm right here beneath it. If I just do my up arrow, that takes me to the last one. I hit it again, the one before, the one before, really, and then I'm going back down. And so you can navigate to previous commands that way. It makes life pretty easy. Um, now, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different here. Uh, in the next line that uh, Zed has, I'm going to MKDIR. And then I'm going to do uh, a dash P. And you can think of that as standing for parent. Because what it's going to do is I'm going to create more than one folder at a time. I'm actually going to go temp, stuff, things. Those all exist. But I'm going to create several layers of folders underneath that. Frank, Joe, Alex, John. Anyhow, when I hit command on that, you can come down here and you see that I now have things, Frank, Joe, Alex, John, several layers of folders now, all the way into the temp that I created just a minute ago. Anyhow, 
that's all we got to do. If you wanted to create one more layer, let's say you wanted to have, uh, let's put another folder in temp. There's temp right there. I'm going to do, um, actually, I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to go up to where it says temp. And instead of stuff, I'm going to put more stuff. And you see, I'm putting it in quotes so I can have two words. And I hit return. And now you see that that folder is created. Anyhow, it's a simple process. And I'm going to use Command K now to clear out my uh, terminal. And we're done with exercise four.